welcome to rainy Auckland in this video we're going to show you a black sand beach a volcano overlooking the city the public transport and because it rains so much lots of foodie places so keep watching if you want to see us run around the city in the rain for 48 hours before we head to the city we took a detour to the west to come and check out Piha Beach finally it's a black sand beach and it's about 45 minutes out of Auckland city you guys have told us to come here so many times it also took us through a part of Auckland that we haven't been before we especially like the windy road coming down with the stunning stunning views of this beach as you can tell the weather isn't great but I saw a lot of cool stock footage on Canva Check it out! <laughs> More sheltered here next to the big rock. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was so hectic! This poor umbrella, <laughs> but my hair's dry. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool having this big mountain on the beach. <laughs> we are soaked now and we're heading back to the car. You may wonder, is it worth it coming here? Yes, it is 100% worth it. Well, that was fun yep <laughs> we got completely soaked but what a cool beach the wind and sideways rain is something that we'll never forget <laughs> as our first experience on this beach it's about 45 minutes later and we just arrived to our hotel in the city it's called the quadrant hotel craig sorted out the parking and the valet service is going to take our car down to the parking lot that's a first <laughs> Accommodation prices in New Zealand is not quite what we used to. This hotel was actually one of the options that were, came in at a lower cost. We like apartment style accommodation and this one is exactly what we hoped for. As you come in through the door, the bathroom is the first one on the left. There's a dining room table and a small kitchen setup. A little lounge with a couch and the bedrooms here. I'm leaving the best for last is the view. Last year on my birthday we stayed in Durban City at the Royal Hotel with a beautiful city and harbour view. Maybe this is now my birthday tradition because just look. Even the Sky Tower right there. This is our first weekend away in New Zealand although it's Thursday today and this is perfect. This is the perfect one. Because we're getting smarter at actually packing our bags and bringing less stuff, it made it a whole lot easier to unpack our bags. It's really nice. Now everything's in the cupboard. And now we're going to head out to explore and maybe find some food. This hotel is situated so nicely. We're just going to try and walk places. It's so nice to walk in a city. We love doing that. From our hotel room, I spotted a logo in the harbour that looked very familiar to me. Turns out I was right. It's the SS of the Silver Seas Cruise Lines. It's not the ship that I worked on, but it's one of the sister ships, the Silver Muse. That's <laughs> so cool. I worked on one of those. <laughs> we think this is Queen Street, where you do all the shopping, and we see lots of shops, so. <laughs> This place is exactly what we've been looking for ever since we came to New Zealand. Very a cool. place with lots of restaurants and it's like almost street food style I would say. Yeah. So we're gonna do a bit of a food tour. First on the list is dumplings from 
fudu. We apologize for pronouncing it wrong. We had the pork and chives dumplings and they really hit the spot. They were so delicious. We are at Gochu, we're gonna have some drinks here before we get more food. There's so many restaurants and so many different cuisines. Some of them have this like harbour view. We had a drink each at Gochu and now we're gonna find another place for something else. We have come to Ghost Donkey for some tacos. I ordered a Mexican soft drink, Jaritos, I think. It's grapefruit flavor. Having a hazy pearl. Ooh, that's good. I've never tried this before. This place is really my vibe. I love fairy lights, music, and I love Mexican food. Our fish tacos arrived, and they are stuffed with filling. They look so delicious. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. So the Mexican was so good at the ghost donkey. Craig had to drag me away, but we also want to try some more cuisines. Maybe some Korean chicken. We're looking for Korean crispy fried chicken. We've ordered our last meal of the night and we went to Kai Eatery. Fun fact, Kai is the Maori word for food. We ordered Korean sweet chili hei hei bao. Also, everybody sitting here's food just looks incredible. It's really hard to choose where, where to eat from. There's so many options. It's so good. The bun is soft, 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 melts in your mouth. But the chicken, oh my gosh, it's crispy on the outside, tamed on the inside, and the sauce just makes it. It reminds me a little bit of turkey sauce for those of you who like spur chicken wings in South Africa. I don't know what my favorite food is now tacos or these buns. After a quick search, we found out that this place is called Harbour Eats so this is the marketplace where there's like all these restaurants and everything and the mall part of it is Commercial Bay in Queen Street and that's where you can do all the shopping that's where we were earlier and Craig needs to turn around now for the escalator <laughs> but we so recommend going here and just trying as many of the food options as possible it was so much fun we felt like we had a food tour around the world but for now we're going to countdown getting some chocolate and coffee sachets and then we're going back to our hotel we are going to go enjoy the view from that hotel <laughs> <laughs> I've had such a cool birthday so far, even with this weather, it's been amazing. Very Thank cool. you, Leafy. <laughs> yeah, pleasure. So we're just going to head back and then we'll see you again in the morning. Good morning. It's time to go get some coffee and bagels. It's all still in the hotel. I'm taking a bit of a walk. It's a really good deal to have a daily deal where you get a bagel and a cappuccino or flat white for around, I think it's around $10. And we got raspberry jam and cream cheese. Our tummies are full with that delicious breakfast. Best ugly bagels is amazing. I actually found them by looking on Google Maps and seeing which restaurants is close by and then sent Craig out this morning to go fetch some for us, the special day. Now we're heading out to get public transport cards and we're going to see where the buses take us. To use public transport you need a hop card 
and you just look out for the ad hop sign at a convenience store the card costs five dollars you load how much money you want on the card it lasts for 10 years and you register it on the app or the website and then you can see what your balance is we decided to go to the mount eden lookout point first and the cool thing about the transport app is you can put your destination and you click go and it tells you exactly where to go which bus to get on and it's amazing We're on bus 321 and we're going to get off after 10 stops. So that trip was only 99 cents. The bus dropped us off to go to there. And then we found this road where it says no access for vehicles to Mount Eden. <laughs> I don't know if this was a good idea. Look at those stairs. Oh my gosh. Wish me luck. <laughs> A little bit more. <laughs> Yo, it's gonna be it. We made it. According to a Google search, Mount Eden erupted about 15,000 years ago and it is now dormant. And it's here for us to come and view and explore. <laughs> there's lots of cool hiking trails and running trails around the mountain. And even though it's rainy and misty, there's quite a few people up here. <laughs> We are walking down the little loop road from the volcano. So there's about a billion stairs to get to the top from where we were. So on the way down, we noticed a pathway and we took the path. Oh! So we decided to take the path rather because my knee is still a bit sensitive. This area is really beautiful. And up by the volcano, there's a boardwalk where you can walk around. Sections are closed, so we can walk all the way around yeah. this time. But we still got the views, city views, volcano views. Pretty cool. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> so cool seeing a old dormant volcano up close. So. I'm going to search on Canva and see if there's stock footage of this volcano on a beautiful day. So hopefully that will follow next. <laughs> We just caught another bus, a double-decker bus, and we're sitting at the top. We just hopped off of this bus. Now we're going to head to Sky Tower. Let's go. We don't need maps because we can follow the tower. We're not going to go up. We wanted to come yesterday because I saw on TripAdvisor that if it's your birthday and you're a resident, you can go up for free, not sure if, how true that is, but it was so misty and windy. Even today, it's, it's not great weather, but despite that, somebody just jumped off in the rain. They still did it. We heard it. <laughs> If it's a rainy day and you have $50 for a ticket, you can come do the All Blacks experience. There is a vlog where they show what it's like inside. I think I'll link that video for you in the description. So we're not going to do it today. It's a bit expensive for us, but I think it would be really cool. Um, Go stay next to Sam. Big Sam. That's <laughs> so, so tall. There's quite a few things you can do here. So if it's a rainy day, come check this out. We left the Sky City area and we came across the glass booth. We're just gonna have a drink here and it's so cute. There's like covered areas and open areas, plants everywhere, the lights are on, it's raining. We've come to an Irish pub called The Fiddler. It's kind of across the road from the place we were just at. I have a peach cider that was on tap. I have an Irish red ale, which is pretty good. 
So this Irish pub is really cool. We love the vibe, the music they're playing. There's a pool table upstairs as well. We just finished our drinks and then we're gonna catch a bus and we'll see you in the next spot. It's raining outside so we can't film too much. But we'll see you there. We got off three bus stops too early, which is a terrible mistake to make in weather like this, but it's fun. We're walking through the streets of Ponsonby and we're loving it. There are all these cute restaurants and pubs all along the way, but we are headed to Ponsonby Central. It's full of restaurants. We are in need of some hot food. going to chop chop so chop chop is combining a few of the Asian cuisines Korean style fried chicken steaming bowls of ramen Japanese steamed bun comes to the right place getting myself a Japanese beer Ooh, for the first time ever it's a can I've never seen before can? pretty good I'm getting like like a vintage lager taste. That's actually pretty good. We're sitting right on the kitchen, like on a counter overlooking the kitchen. You can see the chefs at work and it's like vibey. Yeah. Fried chicken has never looked this good. Look how pretty it is. This is flavor bomb. All these sauces combined. I don't really know what it is, but it is so amazing. I went to fried chicken ramen noodles. I'm gonna taste the broth first because that's what I really like. This broth is amazing. It's just it's so flavorful. The condiments on the table include this chili oil. I didn't want those chicken pieces to end. It was incredible. It was amazing. And it was also the perfect food for a rainy day. <laughs> okay, now we're going to find a bus and go back to close to where we're staying and go to another place. Victoria Park Market to transport buses and then we came across this big music festival. Pretty cool. That's yeah. stage and lots of people in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to try out the beam scooter with the And then press go. See at the pub. We have come to Brew on Key, which looks like an amazing brew pub. Um, you can see the ships. We are at Brew on Key, and it's probably my favorite place I've come to because they say they have over 102 of the best beers from New Zealand and around the world. I'm going to try the beer of the week, which is Brain Smiles Hazy Pale Ale which is brewed just down the road at Mount Eden where we were earlier today. That's good. Nice and refreshing. This pub was so cool. The building itself looks really old. It's got like all these different, almost like rooms. Yeah. With tables that you can sit at. And it's just across the road from the ships on the water. And I mean, there's so many beers to choose from. Craig was <laughs> in his element. Yeah. We're going to head back to our hotel. Pop my birthday champagne. Finally. A day late. And we're gonna get comfortable and just enjoy that hotel room. And the views of the city lights. It's so beautiful. Let's go. So we'll probably only see you guys again tomorrow. This hotel varies in price quite a bit. We paid around 150 per night. I did a search now for next week and it's like over $200 per night. So just check on booking.com and pick the dates that suit you and the price that suits you. And we phoned reception to tell them that the valet must bring our car back around and to leave your car here costs $35 a night in the parking garage.
we came to this cool park quickly to film the intro to this video which you would have already seen and now we're gonna head to one more place We have come to a shopping mall. It's called Sylvia Park. We haven't really been in a shopping mall since we no. since we've been in New Zealand. I convinced Craig to come here because it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like we parked close to all the eating area. This area is called Sylvia Lane, it looks like. Now that we caffeinated, we have energy for the mall. Ooh, there's an outdoor shop. Kathmandu? Yes, let's go there. <laughs> We got t-shirts from JJ's, the shop yeah. that used to be in South Africa. <laughs> and they had nice specials. Got some work shirts and an actual going out shirt. I think we had our mall fix for the next few months. I'm done. <laughs> Tired. Tired now. We're gonna head to Taco Bell. I've never had Taco Bell before. Craig had once. We're gonna try it out. Let's do it. What do you think? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> our tummies are full and we are going to end our time in Auckland and we're gonna head back to Fungaray now. It's been an amazing two nights in Auckland. We've done so much. We showed you guys so much food. <laughs> when it rains what else can you do we just hope that this video encourages you to also go and make your own happiness because originally my plan was to go to bay of islands for my birthday but then the weather just was so terrible yeah and we could have stayed at home i could have felt sorry for myself but we decided to come to the city and just have an amazing time in the rain in auckland it was so much fun <laughs> So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. From our hotel, from home, from, from. <laughs> Craig's never patient with food, so he always burns his mouth on the first bar. And just like that, we are somewhere.